Uh, a number of local advocates fighting for peace rallied in Eugene against the war in Syria this evening. KZI 9 News reporter Stacy Kafka is live at the site of that rally in Eugene with more on what locals are saying about the conflict in Syria. Stacy. Matt, here on this street corner right outside of the old federal building, about a dozen people showed up to rally against the U.S. getting involved in the Syrian war. Now, these peace advocates aren't the only people against the U.S. getting involved in that war. One local man who lives in Eugene who's from Syria says the last thing that country needs is more violence. What are you doing? Armen Kevrekian is an entertainer serving up espresso and food at the Ambrosia restaurant. But he hasn't always lived in Eugene. I was, I was born in Aleppo and uh, I lived there until I was 22 years old. Um, that's when I came to the U.S. For Kevrekian, the Syria he sees on TV and in pictures isn't the country he remembers. When I was growing up there, I felt very safe. I was able to go to church. I was able to go to my high school, Armenian high school, and they, I learned my language and I learned my religion. Members of Congress are currently deciding if the U.S. should side with President Obama's wishes to step in and get involved in Syria. It is difficult for me to really um, except that we're going to go down there and, 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 and really bomb those people uh, when and there will be like hundreds and thousands of innocent people dead. I still have a lot of relatives there. With relatives in Aleppo and Damascus, Kevrekian says the regime falling will cause a domino effect, resulting in thousands more innocent lives lost. Uh, again, I'm very, very concerned that if the regime falls, uh, a lot of the minorities are going to be like completely massacred, especially the Christians. And while he hopes to one day return to his homeland, he's unsure if that'll ever be possible. I do, um, but I am afraid that it will never be the same again because there is so much destruction in there. Um, it, like I look at the pictures of Aleppo and they are all like blown up. It's sad. Armen Kavrekian says he's not sure if he believes U.S. claims that Syrian President Bashar al-Assad's regime is responsible for the use of sarin gas because so many other militant groups like al-Qaeda currently occupy multiple cities in the, his homeland. Live in Eugene, Stacey Kafka, KEZI 9 News.